If you are looking to learn how to give space and safety to your avoidant partner, you can definitely learn to do this, but there is one quick thing I wanna say. Providing space to your avoidant partner isn't cutting yourself up into tiny pieces where you avoid certain topics of the future, intimacy and love, just to make them feel right with their own triggers. That is control, not secure relationships. So let's dive straight in. The first major part for you to understand is that whenever they pull away, this is your opportunity to not take it personally, but to work through your anxious flare-ups. You may likely need to speak to a professional about this. Hell, even use the journaling practices provided by the crappy childhood fairy and her uncle, because her daily practice is awesome for anxious flare-ups. And highly recommend doing the ick list on your partner, just so you can take them off the pedestal and see them more holistically, because otherwise, it's not a healthy relationship. Secondly, highly depends on your avoidant partner. If they are the kind of person who breaks up with people because of their own fears of intimacy, because they get disgusted by your feelings, by their feelings, that is gonna be nearly impossible to work through unless they're speaking to a specialist too. Outside of that, the self-aware avoidantly treated people, amazing. You may find they come closer when you provide space and they may actually start also working with you to create that security, which is amazing. And that is a green flag. But ultimately at the end of the day, the key thing to be aware of is you may do this and nothing will change. And you have to then ask yourself, can I live with that? Because if you can't, that's an entirely different conversation altogether.